we finally found a tiny house for a tiny dog. And this is where we're staying tonight. So today is our last full day in Virginia. Sad day. We've had so much fun here. Such a great time. Visiting my side of the family. Yes, we've had... Ooh, tiny dog's hot. She's like, it's a little toasty. We had to turn the air conditioning off because we got a little toasty in here. Uh, but she'll be sleeping with us tonight. Then we'll have an AC running tonight. All right, so recap so far because we have, you know, the... 120 we've just officially checked into our southwest flight yeah. so this morning we had coffee with my really good college friend leanne from sapperstone studios here in fairfax virginia so if you need portraits hit up my girl because she's amazing so we had coffee with her and just were able to catch up yeah so this afternoon we are going to be meeting with my meeting my <laughs> his my... side of the family aka his uncle and cousins are coming over tonight and we're going to be having a family dinner together well if i am we won't leave her out and did i we... say aunt and uncle you said uncle and cousins sorry becky yeah. you're included obviously, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be doing a grill out uh they're getting hamburgers they my family's getting hamburgers and hot dogs we they've dumped a bunch of coleslaw is this gonna be a big cookout festival there's some activities there's bocce ball there's hot tubs there's darts yep it should be a good time exactly and then after that we're gonna sleep in the bambi these are rock guards okay so the this comes open and these two things swing out and the windows are underneath we put an extra shower head on and and we bought a found a little valve so that a diverter valve so that we can run a 20 foot long shower hose out with a wow. shower nozzle on it and then this is the awning and we can't mm, yeah. we, we can't unfold the awning but the awning comes way out and um, gives you a nice shade and this is the trunk and this goes up under the bed oh, and wow. so all under the bed is storage oh the garage, the garage. like your, what they call the, the garage the yeah. boot <laughs> That's so cute. It's all vintage looking. It is. Yeah, it's very vintage. This is the backup camera here. Oh, that's and very it's important. got a microphone on it. So when I'm backing up, Kemp can, can yell at me. That's <laughs> you know, hysterical. Say, Go left. I said left, your other left. It stabilizes the whole trailer when you're in there. Now, is that something you have to do like, or is that automatic? Uh, it's No, it's a manual process. This is the black water tank. When you flush out the black water, um, you, you, you run fresh water through to kind of clean out the whole system. Up here in the front, underneath the, the dinette area, there's a, there are other water tanks. So when, and, and it's, it's the onboard water. I'm just gonna show you real quick. What's around? Stove for coffee. Microwave for breakfast burritos. Storage. More storage. Mirror for shaving your face. Cutting board with sink. Storage, more storage, storage, mini fridge, which I can't open, bathroom, with toilet, shower, and window, bedroom, storage, television with satellite, his and hers little cupboard thingies, dining table, AC, awesome fan, tiny dog. All right, so this is closed. I'm excited to sleep in here. Yeah. It's like real blackout, like it. Dude, really this is gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited. This is like an apartment in a little box. I'm really surprised how spacious it is. It's only 16 feet, but it feels so big in here. We had four people just kind of moving around, and it wasn't like it wasn't that big. Like we're losing like a lot of people just like crowded in here. All right, let's go. Cool. Home sweet home for the night. So excited. <sighs> Dinner was so fantastic this evening. It was really good to see all of our family members because we haven't probably seen them in a year and a half. Yeah, something like that. March 2020. Yeah, it was, it was really good to see everyone 
since it's been so long, catch up on the stories and everything like that. And the food was delicious. What did we have? We had burgers and we had coleslaw and a bunch of other sides to go with the burgers, including beans. We had corn on the cob. Yeah. And we had some pickled. Thank you, Becky, for bringing the pickled uh, vegetables over. Yes, they were really good. And I can't remember what else, but we had dessert as well, which was really oh, good. Of dessert. It was so much dessert. Yep. But tonight, as you know, we are sleeping in the Bambi and we are so excited about it. The rain is, it's raining right now. I was gonna say the rain is raining, <laughs> but it is raining right now. And all you hear is little tip, tip, tap, 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 taps on the roof of it. Yep, and it's very, very calming. Yeah, absolutely. So we're gonna wake up tomorrow morning and we're gonna make some coffee, we're gonna make some breakfast burritos, and we'll give you an update about what we thought. Yeah, we leave tomorrow. Oh, that's so sad, so, so sad. But anyways, it's been a fantastic trip. We're gonna leave you here. We're going to bed. We're so tired. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Bambi dog. Betsy found her spot to sleep tonight. That's her bed. That's the blanket she's chosen to sleep on. She's like, this is a perfect Betsy sp spot. <laughs> much better. I think I had like the best night's sleep the entire time we had in here last night. It was really nice and cool. We had the blackout curtains going on. It was it was amazing. It was a little tight and hard sleeping right on top of each other, but <laughs> I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of, it was really nice. We'll get Anna's opinions here in a few minutes when <laughs> she comes back to the land of the living. And some coffee too. So stay tuned for coffee get a load of how cute this is. There's some serious cuteness going on here. Oh, so cute. Betty slept with us last night. She slept at the foot of the bed. All curled up in little blankets. I think she slept okay. Good morning. We are awake now, both me and Tiny Dog. And this coffee is so good. I just made my first coffee in the trailer, which is so cool. I slept okay, unlike Adam. He said he slept amazing. I require a lot more sleeping space than he does, so I was a little cramped. That's probably why he slept so well, because I couldn't move. Um, but I usually tend to not sleep very well when I'm sleeping for the first time in a new place anyway, so. I don't think it was the um, Airstream. I think it was just me not being used to being in here. But um, surprisingly, as long as we're organized, it's not really cramped, Adam sitting over there. It's not very cramped. So I really enjoyed it so far and I really enjoy the fact that the space allows, it not allows you, it forces you to be more intentional with what you bring into it and how you organize it. So yeah. I really like it and I think it's it's so cool that um, Adam's dad and Kim um, get to take this around the country and you know it's a little apartment on wheels you know they get to have adventures in here so yeah I'm gonna finish my coffee and then we have to pack up because we're going back home to Denver today and this coffee is delicious it's coffee from Hawaii so it's extra special Okay, bye. Is this the goodbye? This is the goodbye. Aww.
All right, Tiny Dog has gone to the bathroom and now we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves checked in. Fifty thirty one Mabor Denver gate B sixty four. Four thirty seven twenty-nine Southwest Service two Denver International Airport. We landed at Denver. The flight was super smooth. It was really easy, we went really fast. And we got to tie our road to ourselves. Yes, because we did the good old Karen Nate trick. Yeah, so we sat one in the aisle seat, one in the window seat, and no one sat in the middle of us, so we got the entire row. Exactly. So Betsy had her own under seat. We had, each one had our own seats. Our cameras had a seat, so it was great. It's fantastic. Flight was smooth. It's smoky out here, just like it was before we left. It's so crazy coming in. You see like the brown smoke coming in. Now we're in the car because the airport was just so crazy busy that we just didn't feel like recording the video inside. Which is really interesting because Dulles, Dulles was empty. Completely empty. Denver, completely packed. Like, yeah, like it would be like a summer break kind yeah. of thing. And I get that it's a uh, Labor Day weekend, but I thought, you know, schools had started and that people would probably not be traveling, but we were wrong. We were wrong. We did have one bad thing that happened. One little incident. My suitcase did not arrive. It arrived. It arrived. It didn't arrive in my hands. Yes. <laughs> Somehow between getting off the airplane and getting to Adam's hands just did not happen. We think that maybe somebody took it by accident. Hoping. Hoping. So we gave all our information and let's hope that the bag turns up. Yeah. Fingers crossed. So hopefully contact me. Uh, if we get an update by the time that before this vlog comes out, I'll add a little caption to it. If not, follow us on Instagram and we'll post up something on Instagram. Maybe. When it comes back. Hopefully it makes it back. <laughs> yeah. Both of his sunglasses are in there, yeah. which we need, absolutely need in Denver. So anyways, um, it's a huge bummer. Bummer, yeah. You know, it's fine. Everything can be replaced in there. All the important stuff is with us right now. If you did enjoy this venture, because this week was a ton of fun, thank you so much, Dad and Kim. We had an absolute blast with us. We did. If you enjoyed this venture, please hit the subscribe button and click that little bell to be notified. We need to stop telling you if you enjoyed. Just punch that subscribe button. Yes, we're right now, at this moment, we're at 242 subscribers. Trying to get to 250 by September 15th, because it's our one-year vlog anniversary. Well, I'm not quite sure this is going to come, but September 15th. Well, doesn't matter. <laughs> please share with your friends and family if they're coming to Colorado or if they're interested in hiking the White Oak Canyon, please just share our videos with, with them. We would be so grateful. And if you're interested in finding out when we have videos coming out, follow us on Instagram. We'll post a new video on either Thursday or Friday, letting you know that we have a new video coming out on Sunday. Exactly. So thanks for tagging along. It is time to go home and make some dinner. Ooh. Bye. Bye. I just close the door, but that's oh, fine. Oh, close the door. Well, no, it's, at this point it's too late. I don't like it either. At this point it's too late. Blooper. <laughs> I know. I can shower and go to the bathroom at the same time. It's like a full body bidet. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, we're not going to have any bloopers. Oh, we got plenty now? Oh, crap. <laughs> You're ready.